Let's see. Tiny, tiny little guy. Oh, he's going in with the end. All right, time to scare him away. Get out of here! Hey! I had to return to work for a week. But now I'm back and I'm going to get this uh, high tunnel project going. got home yesterday and I'm going to run the trail, pick up my SD cards out of the trail cameras and see what uh, other animals have been lurking around. So this is what I usually find, uh, trail cameras bent off of the uh, trees pointing down at the ground towards the sky, usually the result of a black bear. For some reason the grizzly bear don't seem to mess with my cameras. They'll come up and nose on them, but they don't bend them all up like the black bears do. Well, hell with it. I'm going to get it all up there and then uh, figure out straight and not straight. All the hoops were hand bent, so they're not perfect. They don't have to be. Yeah, I'll get all the poles up first and then figure out the rest.
a little, little snug on these bolts. We'll just go hand tight on these. Try to get the whole pole up and then I'll get it all straightened up and then tighten it up. The potato plant growing here. That's from last year. And the lettuce does not like this soil at all, so I gotta figure that out. Carrots seem to like it and the radish, potatoes. The cabbage aren't doing too well either. Come on. Mosquitoes aren't too bad. They all look good except for this. This one here is a little too, too far that way. So we'll just hammer that forward. It's not too horrible. Fairly straight, kind of. Sort the rest of it out later. Run up and get my saws all, put the uh, end wall connector on. metal in my eyes. So I wear some some glasses. Definitely would have gotten metal in my eyes. So the next part of this project is to uh, put some support for all these hoops. And instead of sinking them into the ground and just putting one post here or there, I'm gonna put one on every hoop except for the end walls. They're gonna have their own structure to give them rigidity. Uh, I'm just gonna tie all these into a pole that runs along the ground. And then uh, as soon as this ground gets frozen, the beginning of winter, this pole will ride on that frozen ground, provide pretty good amount of uh, support for these hoops. 
because I don't want the snow load to collapse it. I'm also going to be running hip boards and then the baseboards along here. I think for the hip boards, I'm going with a metal kit from uh, Bootstrap Farmer. So I got to get the hardware for that so I can attach the, uh, the poles like this. These are going to be attached right in front of the hoops. I was also thinking about doubling them up, putting one on either side. And I might do that. Another thing this is going to give me, I'll be able to uh, run a lattice in here and uh, grow my climbing vegetables on that lattice. Or whatever you call it. <laughs> But I'm probably not. I'm probably going to go with a single pole because all these got to come out by helicopter in a sling load. Because these won't fit inside the helicopter or in the basket, so they have to go underneath the helicopter. And that means quite a bit of money getting them flown out here. But I do have some sling loads that I need to accomplish soon. So I might, I might double them up. I've got to put a uh, fan in this side and a vent in that side of the end walls. It'll be 12 volt, and it'll be controlled by a thermostat, kick on and off. So there'll be a uh, fence charger, a battery, solar panel, and a charge controller. I'll put that right on the uh, gate to come in the garden. I've got to get out 54 T-posts, and get them sunk around the perimeter and bring out 250 feet of fencing. Get all this fenced in and electrified. Get the plastic strung next spring, and then I'll be ready to grow. I'm gonna have to do something with the soil. A couple plants are doing okay, I'll research it and probably send off a soil sample, see what I got. So I gotta get a count of the hardware that I'm gonna need, figure out if I'm gonna run the dual post setup. up. 